Review code provided by Panic Inc. Thanks, Panic. Playing with Legos. Watching Saturday morning cartoons. Playing Untitled Goose Game. These three things have one thing in common. They all elicit a feeling of pure, childlike joy. Welcome to Beacon Gaming. This week, we're mellowing things out a bit and focusing on one thing and one thing only. Honks. When Untitled Goose Game was first teased a few months back in a Nintendo Direct, my attention was immediately grabbed. Its minimalist art style looked charming, and the idea of messing with people as a goose sounded absolutely hilarious. So when the game dropped a few weeks ago, I immediately picked it up. But what is Untitled Goose Game actually about? Well, as one might expect, not much. There is no dialogue or really any story in the game. While you are given a list of tasks to perform in order to progress to new areas, they don't necessarily serve any sort of larger narrative focus, for the most part. While an interesting little twist at the end of the game sort of ties everything together, it's a delightful surprise, so I won't spoil that here. But really, does this game need a story? You're a goose. Your life is exciting enough as it is. While players are given a list of objectives in each part of the game, the best part of Untitled Goose Game, in my humble opinion, is making your own stories. I spent a good majority of my time with the game not actually trying to complete set objectives, and instead just messing with people. For instance, how many times can I take that boy's glasses? How many different ways can I give the man drinking tea a heart attack? These sort of questions were what kept me playing Untitled Goose Game for hours after the credits rolled. Simplification Perfected is the best way to describe everything about Goose Game, including its gameplay. Just about everything that you do in the game is incredibly simple. Your goose, or the goose as the game puts it, has only a few things it can do. Honk, pick things up, run, and spread its wings. Make sure you master these, as you will do little else in your time as a goose. At its core, Untitled Goose Game is a puzzle game. Sometimes, your objectives are as easy and simple as get into the garden. Others, however, will make you think just a little bit more, such as be awarded a flower. Being forced to think out of the box to mark things off your to-do list is a great time. As I mentioned before, some of the tasks are incredibly easy, but some still have me stumped to this day. After finishing the game, you're given a list of new tasks that pad on some more game time. This is where some of the more difficult parts of the game come in, with tasks such as complete each to-do list before the church bell rings, essentially adding the option for speedruns. The game is not only fun to play, it's also hilarious. I had a huge smile on my face the entire time I was playing, and as I showed my friends and loved ones the game, they couldn't help but crack up at its absurdity. I absolutely love the entire vibe that Untitled Goose Game gives off. Its minimalistic, colorful art style is adorable. While having featureless faces on humans can sometimes be creepy as hell, it comes off as incredibly charming in this game. When you pair this distinct art style with the absolute absurdity of what is actually happening in the game, you get some of the most hilarious stuff you will ever see in a video game. While most of the game has no background music, occasionally, beautiful piano music will kick in to accent the goose's antics. While this is not normally the kind of music that I would think of putting onto an intense chase scene, it fits the game perfectly. <laughs> The only real thing that keeps me from giving Untitled Goose Game a perfect score is its length. The game will most likely take most players between 1-3 to three hours to beat, which is obviously really short. Some people have even figured out how to beat the game in under 20 minutes. Now, a few extra hours of game time are added onto the end of the game with the extra challenges, but most people will probably put it down after the credits roll. 
While personally, I think the game gives enough laughs and good times to warrant its $20 price tag, I could understand why some would be upset at this price with so little game time. Overall, Untitled Goose Game is an absolute blast to play. As I mentioned earlier, no game in the past few years has given me such an intense feeling of pure childhood joy. The sheer happiness that I felt while playing this game by myself, with friends and with family, was worth every dollar that I spent on it. So, of course, I recommend this game. The only thing keeping me from giving it a perfect score is its short game time. So, with that in mind, I give the game 4 honks out of 5.